Man, man, it was another episode of Journey of a Producer, and I'm actually here because uh, something happened today. Somebody decided to get their nose pierced, and obviously, as you can see, it's not me. It's this one right here. Me. Let's zoom in. Y'all see that? Can they see that? Can I don't know. My nose big enough. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we just sitting back. She just got back from doing that. All, all her sisters did it. Sore now. It's sore. She said it's sore. And she's actually about to start working. I told her. I cried. Oh, she didn't tell me all this. I got to get the, the information. <laughs> I ain't know nothing about all this. Oh. Anyway, so I'll talk to y'all later because um, <laughs> nothing happening this week. But next week is our anniversary. So we got some things planned. 17. And, uh... 17 years so i'll vlog that and that's probably the next clip you'll see because nothing really is happening this week but again this time next week we got some things planned so see y'all there oh. all right band members it's actually officially our anniversary day keisha and i actually just got back we just got back from uh getting massages and i'll get her take on how she felt about hers, but we just got back and ordered some seafood. All right, so here's Keisha. All right, uh, it was okay. Out of out of massages that we've had, um, this one wasn't horrible, but it doesn't rank too high for me. So, um, it's been a hot minute since I've had a massage, but. Keisha says she enjoyed hers. Happy 17th anniversary. So, um, we're about to spread out the seafood and show you guys what it is. And just enjoy the rest of the day. We don't have the kids. The kids went to um, their grandmother. And... Here is the food. The food is from... Seven Spices. Why I say amazing on it? I don't know, but it's seven seven spices. seven spices is where it's from. So this is what we got: sausage, corn, shrimp, crab. more shrimp, crab, snow crabs. Keisha got it's fried cool. shrimp, fried shrimp and dirty, rice. dirty rice, garlic bread. Garlic, oh no, garlic bread. So we about to enjoy this, and I'll let y'all later. So today we have a new product um, that I just purchased off Amazon that came uh, today. Um, I have Raycon earbuds and my earbuds, they just went out on me. Uh, we don't have a warranty on those. These ones offer a three year warranty for $4. I didn't get them because these only cost $25 on Amazon. I figured if anything happens to it within a year, I'll just buy a new pair which um, is not a lot. So I'm going to try these out. I'm going to open these up um, try and show you all what's inside and then try these out for myself and come back and let you know what I thought about them. Uh, so they slide out like this. Look like that. So here are the earbuds, here's the case, so they're not that big, this has an L on it for left, alright, you can get them in multiple colors, mines are black, they come in gray, I saw rose gold, um, pink, blue, all right, so here's the charging case and it has right left on it. So if I sit them in here, all right, when you sit them in here, that thing lights up. So as you can see, oh, these lights were not on at one point and then they come on. All right, it's magnetic, so they sit in there, they're not coming out. And then there's a charger on the back, a little case with a little 
hold for a strap. All right, so it comes with a bunch of sizes of earbuds, a uh, charging cable, and uh, the strap that would go here. All right, so here's the charging cable and the strap, wrist strap. I usually like to put on the wrist strap just so um, I know everything is secure and I'm not fumbling around looking for it. Um, my wife's uh, Raycon earbuds went out also, so I told her I would see how these go and then recommend if she should get it or not. Because she actually uses her earbuds seemingly way more than I do. Um, let me see something. All right, so even though, you know, the, you just plug this into a USB slot or a charger block, a couple of days ago, I bought something else. So I was having issues with my phone and my charger for my phone. So I actually bought this a couple of days ago. And this can actually use it. So as you can see, it's green now. When I put this on the charge, it should turn blue, which lets me know it's charging. And there it is. It's now charging. So I can charge this wirelessly. So yeah, when um when I use this, um, I'll let you guys know the quality compared to Raycon earbuds, and then I'll recommend it um, if and only if I feel it's better. All right, be back in a second. All right, so I told you I would come back with the review. Um, I actually used those earbuds all night, and um, they're great. Um, to say there are only $25 and uh, they do everything that the Raycon earbuds do. Uh, the couple of downfalls I see is um, they don't have as much bass quality. So the quality of music, quality of audio um, that you hear is not the same. Um, but again, what do you expect for $25? Raycon earbuds have a button you press on your ear when you want things to happen. This has a touch sensitive pad. So it's nothing that depresses. So if you want music to stop, you press one, you want to start, you press it again, answer a call, hang up a call, turn them on, turn them off. Next song, go back a song. They all are things that you press on here. Little As you can see, it's lighting up as I touch it. Touch it. Okay. So that's what that does. And sometimes it doesn't respond to uh, your touch. So you really have to maybe do it multiple times. Other than that, I don't I don't have any other problem with it. Uh, great. Um, I wish I had an Amazon affiliate link, but I currently don't. Um, but again, I found these on Amazon. The, the company name is Tozo. And th this color is $25. If you get the blue, I think the blue, the red, the, there's like a pink. And I think there's an, uh, another color. Those are $33. But again, this was only $25. So I would absolutely say, uh, pick them up. Um, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys my review on it before I got my day started. So, uh, the kids are upstairs. It's still early in the day. Um, I got some work to get done. I know I mentioned recently that, uh, I got something I'm working on and I'm actually drawing it up and typing it up today so that I could have it out down on paper. Um, I found some people to work with. 
I haven't mentioned to them what it is because, again, I don't want anybody to steal my idea. But um, we'll get today started. Keisha's actually at a meeting, and she should be home in a couple of hours. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on so far. The plan is today to... I'm out in the garage, first of all. It's not hot yet, but I got to get these pads. I got to get these pads up on the wall. I want one there, two in the middle, one over here. So I got these these command strips are kind of Velcro-ish. So I'm going to see how this goes. I'm hoping, hoping it doesn't get too hot up in here. final product hopefully this stuff stays that one's gonna act like a, a goal so my kids can get their strength in holding a basketball but these are gonna be passing pads and it got a little hot up in here so I pulled out a fan but these are passing pads let me show you how they work how I'm gonna use them Now you got a target to throw at. That's just gonna be for beginners. They got a target to throw at and a target to aim at for a basketball goal. We'll see how this turns out. Look, can you do this? Look, see that top one? Get the square. Good. Do it again. Do it again. Don't back up. <laughs> Go. Alright, gotta hit the square. Alright, get it out. Hit the square. Hit that one. Hit it. Alright, don't back up. Look. Look. Watch. No back up. Don't back up. Back up, 
Once again, let it open. Open it. Bend your knees. There you go. Go. Good. Do it again. Do it harder. Gotta hit the square. Do it hard. Alright, you gotta hit the square. Hit the square. Good. Hit it harder. Good. Good job. Do the next square. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go. Four, there you go. There you go. Look, I'm not doing this. I'm going to do this. There you go. Now you want to push forward instead of this. You want to push it forward. Don't lean, you're going to stick right here. Band members, what's going on? What's going on? Uh, got the kids, <coughs> got the kids with me. We're out and about. Um, it's unusual because um, my job, my job has me work actually working back 100% from work. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, 100% from home. At one point, we were working two days a week. Um, at the office um, but it seemed like every week somebody knew was getting sick so they told us to stay home until further notice um, the kids are having trouble with uh, school starting school because we're going to do homeschooling um, with a curriculum or whatnot already in place um where they would go at their own pace, but they've been waitlisted. So I think there was an influx of people who applied and the classes got over full quickly. So they're kind of waiting till people start dropping off in order to let more people in. However, we've been waitlisted and I think we're, their, their district that they normally are in has been going uh, a full two weeks already. So. Um, we're, they're behind there. Also, uh, since my kids are in special ed, they need specialized instruction. And most of these homeschooling and and uh, virtual schools don't have the type of instruction that my kids need. So we have to find the right one, the right type that will work with their schedule. Um, I would think going two days into the office, um, eventually we would be 100% in the office that way, but then that would mean nobody's at home with the kids while they're in, they're doing virtual learning. Um, an option we had was taking them to my mom's, um, but we don't know if that's doable every single morning um, because of how early we have to leave in order to get to both of our jobs. So what we're doing right now is um, Keisha locked her kids in, her keys in the car. <laughs> locked her kids in the car. She locked her keys in the car um, and she doesn't work close. So we have to, like today, would have been a perfect day for like an assistant or something because I have to stop my work from home. I have to um, pack up the kids and make sure they are ready to go. And then we have to journey to her job just to unlock her door so she can get her keys and then come all the way back home and undo everything we just did. So, um, you know, I was trying to lean to her to tell her, hey, get Papa Lock a call. Um, but Keisha doesn't have a newer car because um, she wanted to avoid a car note and she feels that too much damage on her door will make her door weaker so I am bringing her well actually not bringing her key I'm just going to where she works unlocking the door and making sure she has her keys in her hand so she can get home and I can then take the kids back home so 
a lot going on. Um, my boss was cool with it. He understood. Um, it just means I need to work a little extra today, which doesn't really bother me. Um, we don't necessarily have anything planned tonight. There's a back to school event that my mom is doing. So we might uh, have her pass by there. Um, Keisha doesn't have anything planned. It's actually some traffic right now because it's about 2.30 and the kids are about to get out of school. So there's a little traffic. Um, but we're hopefully, uh, there's a new season of Manifest. So we're probably going to watch that. Um, but then we got to figure out our kids' situation. Uh, my suggestion was to let them go ahead and go back to school. Um, Jasmine's in the type of class to where there's only five kids at the max and uh, Sean would be the one that's inside of general population that would be at the most risk um, so Keisha's not really ready to make that risk but I'm like if we keep putting it off they'll just get further and further behind with not being in school um, she's anticipating that the whole thing is going to be shut down and all kids are going to go virtual um, but we still don't know. And every day that passes doesn't make anything better. So we have to come to a decision quickly. Again, I don't mind them going back. Um, I understand they're under risk of getting sick. Um, my kids uh, usually get sick quickly. But this whole pandemic, pandemic I don't think they've caught a cold or flu or stifles if anything so um, you know I think we'll, they'll be alright but you know we'll, we'll kind of figure that out this weekend and see how it goes anyways let me go ahead and uh, head to Keisha's work I should be there in about 30 minutes um, and then we'll grab some lunch alright so we are here I just unlocked Keisha's door that's her car and here are her keys so uh I'm just waiting till she comes out <laughs> so I can hand them to her. I'm out here. Oh, bye bye. Uh huh. All right, we're actually winding down the night. Uh, we just ordered a Chick Fil A. Uh, salad, so we're doing that. The kids are eating Chick fil A, they're in there somewhere. Oh, there they go. Um, we're worried about Hurricane Ida um, because our people are still in New Orleans. Uh, my grandparents and my cousins, and then Keisha has her aunt or well, two aunts and some cousins that are there. So, we're keeping an eye on Hurricane Ida. Um, hopefully everybody is safe. We'll know in a couple days um, how everything turned out. So um, I'll be back to update you guys later. All right, had to make sure this lighting is right. Uh, Keisha's actually on her way home. Uh, she should be pulling up any second. I'm actually here watching some YouTubers on vacation um, because I actually take my vacation next week. I won't be going anywhere. I'm just off from work for a whole week. I just figured I need some time. I've been uh, under a lot of pressure and stress on my job. And I think I just need to get away. And uh, get away. And kind of reset uh, before I go back to work. Um, we're still out of the office. Uh, they told us don't go back until further notice. I am uh, concerned because right now it's it's uh, hurricane season and my people are actually dealing with Hurricane Ida. Um, the house I grew up in, my grandparents are still there. Uh, my cousin moved in a couple of months ago and she's like 21, I think. And uh, so she's there with them, but they have no power. They have no power. 
And with no power, you can't store your food too long or it goes bad. They can't cook the food because they don't have any power. I don't think they have gas um, to even cook because even when we had to freeze, we were able to still use our gas, which uh, was able to cook some things. But I don't know if they have gas or electric. Um but again, they're without power. We are able to talk to them because thankfully my grandma still has a landline phone. So um, it doesn't require any power. Uh, she just plugs it up and we're able to talk to her. So we've been, you know, checking in, make sure she's okay. She said they're, ma they're making it. Um, they went through Hurricane Katrina. Uh, this is deja vu because it happened exactly 16 years to the day that they're going through this again. It's kind of deja vu for us or for me because 16 years ago, I was in Houston because I got out. I left the day before. They didn't want to leave and uh, they didn't want to leave this time. So uh, what we think is going to happen is my brother is actually going to go down and get them and bring them to Houston. But they are... Uh, he has a truck, so that's probably why he's going to be the one going. Um, but he's going to go get them, bring them here, bring them by my mom. She has room over there where they can be comfortable. My grandfather is the only one that's complaining, and he has a lot of uh, medical issues, so he's probably getting on everyone's nerves about how uncomfortable he is, even though everyone's uncomfortable. Um which sparked a debate, and you guys let me know. Uh, would you rather be freezing cold or hot in your home? And I know for a fact, I can't go to sleep unless it's cool in this house. So when we had the freeze, I was actually okay. I was kind of uncomfortable, cold, but I was able to go to sleep. Versus being sweltering hot. For some reason, that just doesn't work for me. And then they're in New Orleans and it's uh, humid. They're way more humid than Texas. So their heat just feels a little different. So I, I can only imagine he's very uncomfortable. I thought about what I would do in that situation. And my mind would just simply say, I would try to take cold showers or, or take a cold shower before I lay down and went to sleep. I don't know how effective that would be. But, uh, and then you get the water pumps are turned off. So I don't know if water pressure is the issue or um, the water is not clean that's coming through there. So you got a lot of those things. You may have bore water notices. So a lot of those things you got to take into consideration. Oh, there's Sean running right past me. Uh, <laughs> are you cleaned up? Did you finish eating everything? You cleaned up? Okay. Uh, Jazz is actually taking a nap. Uh, like I said, Sean just passed me up. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to unwind. That was just a thought. So you let me know, would you rather be cold or would you rather be hot? Uh, if you had to choose one. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we get into anything, uh, later. Uh, I do have to DJ this Friday which is a couple days from now. So uh, that's probably where I will close out the vlog. But until then, I'll see you at my DJ gig on Friday. All right, we're out here in Target. We got Sean, we got Hi. Jazz, we got me, and we have Mommy, who's not tired. Yay. Uh, I gotta get a couple things from my business. And then we're gonna get the kids some dinner, so let's see what we can get into. Alright. Where are the fire TV sticks?
Oh, here we go. That's what I need. It's a whole new day. I'm sitting here. It's a Labor Day. And I think I got enough footage to go ahead and close out the vlog. Um, I'm actually sitting here because we signed the kids up for homeschool. So we're setting up a schedule for them. I'm also looking at where we are for subscribers. Um, so I'm at 75... 4,975, so we're 25 subscribers away from 5,000. So, um, I'm sure by the next video, we'll be at 5,000. We'll celebrate. I'll do some type of giveaway. Uh, hopefully see uh, what I can do in that manner. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog. Uh, finish up some things. Hope you had a great um, holiday. Uh, our people are doing better as far as Hurricane Ida. Um, but we know one thing. We need to be more prepared for things like this when they come about. So I will talk to you band members later. You heard me?